Once a foreign piece of DNA has entered a cell through one of the gene exchange systems, what happens to it? If the host genome and the new DNA have a considerable stretch of homologous DNA sequence in common, that is, the sequences are similar but not necessarily identical, then the foreign DNA may be incorporated into the chromosome through a process called generalized recombination. Enzymes participating in generalized recombination find and align homologous stretches of DNA in two different DNA molecules and catalyze an exchange of strands. An enzyme system called the REC-BCD complex initiates the series of events by binding to the end of a DNA fragment and beginning to unwind it. A specific 8-base sequence called a chi-site exists periodically in most DNA sequences and serves as a recombinational hotspot. REC-BCD unwinds the DNA until it reaches such a site. The complex then nicks the DNA and continues unwinding as it loads a protein called REC-A onto the three-prime tail of the single-stranded DNA. The REC-A-covered DNA strand is called a REC-A filament. REC-A molecules, also called synaptases, can scan DNA molecules for homology and align the homologous regions. This reaction requires a free three-prime end on the single-stranded molecule and results in a triplex DNA molecule called a synapse. Notice that the strand invasion reaction results in a D-loop formation, shaped like the letter D. The donor single-stranded DNA has invaded the homologous region in the double-stranded DNA recipient molecule and displaces its like strand. At this point, a single-strand crossover, called a holiday junction, has been made. Other recombination proteins called RUV A and B assemble at the crossover point and pull the donor and recipient DNA strands in opposite directions, extending the invasion in a process called strand assimilation or branch migration. This process extends the base pairing between homologous donor and recipient strands. Ultimately, the end of the displaced strand at the D-loop is cleaved and the donor strand is ligated to the recipient strand. Rotating one of the molecules at the branch point provides more clarity for the events that occur next and reveals a classic holiday structure. An enzyme called RUB-C can cleave across the junction in either of two ways. In one case, cleavage and ligation of two of the strands results in a closed circular molecule and a linear molecule, similar to the starting molecules, except that a DNA segment has been exchanged between them. In the second cleavage option, cleavage and ligation of two of the strands results in a linear molecule. The loss of the chromosome's circularity would result in death for the bacterium. However, a second crossover event would restore circularity to the chromosome and leave it with a swapped segment of DNA. Let's look again at the second cleavage option. This time, imagine the original donor molecule not as a linear fragment, but as circular. In this case, the result of recombination is a co-integrate molecule, where a single crossover joins the two participating DNA molecules into a larger circular molecule. What can generalized recombination do for a microbial cell? Cells with damaged chromosomes may use donated DNA to repair their damaged genes. Recombination may also be part of a self-improvement program that samples genes from other organisms to enhance cellular fitness. Recombination also provides an internal method of DNA repair, useful to fix mutations or restart stalled replication forks. However, this last role does not involve foreign DNA.